Goku has died. He had stood tall against the deadliest of foes, but the mighty warrior was no match for the virus in his heart. Though those close to Goku were overcome with sadness, they continued to lead peaceful lives for some time. But six months later, two monstrosities appeared on an island to the south. Earth's defenders met them head on, but they stood no chance. Piccolo was the first to fall. Then Vegeta, Yamcha, Tien, and Krillin all lost their lives. The two androids plunged the world into a state of constant fear and chaos. It is here, 13 years later, that our story begins. A story about a world without Goku. Vegeta and Bulma's son, Trunks, has grown into a young man with a strong sense of justice. How could the androids do this? How could they be so cruel? <coughs> Gohan is the only warrior left alive to face off against the android threat. Trunks, admiring Gohan's strength and burning with a desire to defeat the androids, makes an impassioned plea. Gohan, I want to be stronger. I want to put a stop to these monsters. Please, train me so I can help you fight. Gohan and Trunks, the last surviving warriors. Trunks. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, Gohan. You won't regret this, I promise. Several days later, Trunks begins his intense training with Gohan, hoping to improve his skills enough to contend with the androids. All right, let's get started with today's training. Right. I can't wait. I know I don't really have to say this, but I will anyway. The androids are insanely strong. I'm gonna fight you as if I'm fighting them. If you don't do the same, you're gonna get hurt. Understood. Here I come. I'm going to become strong enough to beat you, and then beat the androids. That's the spirit. Keep it up. Thanks. Here it comes. Oh, no. Strong trunks. Giving up already? Try this You're a quick learner, trunks. I'm impressed. I've still got a lot more in me. Here it comes! The androids are a lot stronger than this. That attack is pretty solid. Wow, Trunks. Seeing you fight like this reminds me a lot of Vegeta. That means a lot to me, Gohan. Okay. Let's call it a day. Okay. You're good, Trunks. You're definitely Vegeta's son. I'm still not good enough. I don't think I'll ever be able to beat you at your best. <laughs> no way. You're gonna be even stronger than me someday. 
I'm counting on it. I sure hope so. All right, we'd better head back. Bulma's not gonna be too happy if we stay out here any longer. Right. Definitely can't let her know I'm training with you. I'll go with you part of the way. Thanks. If we don't hurry, my mother's gonna start worrying about me. Given the way things are now, I wouldn't blame her. By the way, how's she doing? Good. Well, pretty good. She's kind of run into some trouble with something she's working on. Huh? Trunks, wait! Ah! Somebody! Go on! That guy over there's in trouble! Right. I'm on it. Are you okay? Who are you two? You were attacked by that thing, weren't you? Oh, no! Huh? Uh, what is this? The, that alarm. It's going to get the android's attention. What? Hmm? Yeah, I hear it. Sounds like fun to me. We're doomed! Doomed! The androids are no doubt on their way now! Trunks, quickly. Take this person somewhere safe. I'll do my best to distract the androids if they show up. Right, will do! I sure hope Trunks was able to find a safe hiding spot. <laughs> oh, it's only you. I was hoping for a change of pace, but I guess that's not gonna happen. This sucks. We're just repeating the same fight over and over again. It's the androids. So what that guy was saying was true. They actually showed up. What are you doing here, Trunks? Uh, I thought I could help you fight them. No. You're not strong enough yet to take them on. Hey, he's already showed up for the party. So why not let him join in on the fun, huh? <sighs> I guess it's too late now. Try to avoid them and stay right behind me as much as you can. Uh, uh, right. Got it. Go! 
don't try to win. Just focus on staying alive. Damn it. I'm gonna try to give us a chance to get out of here. Okay. Uh -oh. Looks like they're running out of steam. What are you two talking about? Okay, okay. So you can fight, kinda. Here I go! You can still do this! Not bad! Go you! Not bad! Keep it up. You might actually pull something off. Take that! This is our only shot at getting away. Trunks, now's our chance to get out of here. R right. Well, damn. Looks like they got away. Whatever. They weren't that fun anyway. Let's get out of here. Sure. Maybe they'll actually put up a fight next time. But I'm not holding my breath. Okay, I think they're gone now. Yeah, looks like it. I sure hope that guy we helped out earlier is okay. Yeah, I'm worried about him too. You mind showing me where he is? Sure, I'll take you there. Sir, are you okay? Oh, it's you two, so you're still alive. Yeah, you look like you're doing okay too. You know, when that thing found me, I thought I was a goner. But fortunately, you two came to the rescue. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, it was nothing. By the way, what exactly was that drone? That was one of the Red Ribbon Army's old patrol bots. Dangerous little guys. What? It's programmed to fly around Red Ribbon Army facilities. And if it detects any potential intruders, it sounds an alarm to call reinforcements. Okay. But there aren't any Red Ribbon Army facilities in this area, though. That's true, but it appears the bot is operating on its own. It's forgotten its patrol routine, and instead detects threats anywhere, all around the world. To make matters worse, the androids are the ones around to hear and respond to its alarm. If you don't intend to fight the androids, you only have two options. Either evade the drone or destroy it. If the alarm does trigger, you should be able to avoid alerting the androids by destroying the drone right away. I see. Thanks for the information. You really do seem to know a lot about drones and stuff. Indeed. That's because I'm a researcher who specializes in mechanical engineering. Anyway, the Red Ribbon Army robots make use of some experimental technology. Their state-of-the-art command drones control other drones, and inside those command drones are some particularly rare parts. I thought I'd try to procure one of those rare parts and finally do something about those drones. But then one of them spotted me. Are you serious? That's dangerous. He's right. You should stay far away from that drone. Huh, maybe you're right. But if you two could destroy that command drone for me and help procure that part, it'd really help me out. Think it's possible? I'll reward you for your efforts, of course. Huh. If that thing's still around to alert the androids, it could end up getting a lot more people killed. So, you'll help me, will you? I suppose. At least as much as I can. Oh, that's perfectly fine with me. I'll be counting on you two, so stay safe.
So we're after a drone that can alert the androids. We definitely have to stop it. Right. But if we don't handle this carefully, we'll end up fighting the androids when we don't need to. We have to be smart. You can say that again. I mean, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm no match for the androids right now. Okay. Let's try to make our way back as safely as we can. Right. <laughs>